out of absolutely nowhere, Grizzly Bear have suddenly become one of our main focuses and we are out here once again on Yukon Valley to try to find that albino gold. Now, if you caught the live stream on Monday, we did not manage anything special for Grizzly. No, I don't even think we had a level 8 in fact. No big ones and no rares, but what we did find were two max weight fox tracks, one of which led to a diamond, in fact a bigger diamond than we had in the lodge from our previous grind and ultimately a multiplayer kill is where we got that grind done. It was a 14.1 for that, the new one was 14.3 and single player, and honestly I haven't hunted Yugon really at all, especially not for Red Fox, since we completed that grind about a year ago, so I would bet that Fox has been waiting here the entire time, but starting off with another Silver Grizzly as expected. But this is basically airport day round two, and if you don't know what that means, last week I had to take Kyla to the airport and we did a goose hunt, kind of as a quick video because I didn't have a full two and a half, three hours to record like I normally do, and today I have to go and pick her up, so I thought a grizzly bear hunt, quickly go through, try to get the respawns, would be the way to go. Now, once again going back to last week's video, one of the reasons that I don't have as much time to record as normal is that Kyla's not here to take care of Shadow, and quite often, she'll have barking or whining to do around the time that I'm trying to record anything whatsoever. So it can be difficult if she's not fast asleep basically to get anything done. And in the process of kind of waiting her, for her to fall back asleep, that nervous level five came back. I had no idea there were multiple males there. And actually for once it worked out. But anyway, I think with all of the kind of random information out of the way, that's going to be our third male grizzly. We are kind of heading up the eastern side of the map, which is one spot we didn't get to on stream, and apparently there are a fair number of male bears up here, which generally speaking can be the difficulty when it comes to grizzly bear. Finding areas that have consistent males can be one of the biggest challenges. But with a little help from Sir 12, we've got our third grizzly. Like I said, that estimate looked decent. And he has a gold at 61.6, so gold is 60.8. I don't remember what the estimate was for our albino level 6, but I think he scored 60.6, so it was close, like I said, uh, in the last video we hunted these guys for, but we're going to have to do better than that if we want an albino gold eventually. You know, I mentioned just finding consistent males to be one of the bigger challenges in grizzly bear grinding, but the other side of it is... Knowing that you're going to see a lot of low levels and just not worrying about that. The amount of level 5 grizzlies and even 4s, sometimes 3s that we see is a little unfortunate, like especially compared to, say, the red deer grind. Both animals max at level 9, but with red deer there are lots of 7s and 8s, the occasional 9. Grizzly bears, maybe two 7s on an entire run, if you're lucky. And then if you get an 8 or a 9, that's just kind of an extra bonus, but it's usually shooting a lot of silvers, and what that comes back to is the potential difficulty in getting a gold albino. If you do get an albino to spawn, there's a decent chance it's not even going to have a shot of being a gold. Much like this guy, at level 5 he has absolutely no chance, 58.3, about 2.5 shy of gold. Another level 6 with a pretty solid estimate. I guess that would be kind of the ideal. And again, going back to our albino silver that was just a little bit below gold. And we had that estimate, you know, say if, if it was 61 to something, just knowing it would make it would be nice. So I didn't know there was a 4 in there. It looks like our attempt at a long shot did not work. Maybe that time it looks like that's going to get him. So that is to, uh, once again, there's been a couple of places so far where a bit of patience and looking around has resulted in an extra kill. And when it's something like Grizzlies, when you're not killing a ton every single time you go out, that, in my opinion, is quite important. And by the way, I'm not sure if this is a recent change, but it seems to be the case that the gray-brown fur type, by the way, this guy made gold once again, but the gray-brown fur type seems to be male only, and I think it's just called brown is the female fur type. Well, that says gray-brown, but if we look at the female bears, unless maybe we've just had luck where it's turned out to be that way, but it seems most male 
grizzly bears are that gray brown maybe females can be both but i haven't seen a brown fur type male since we've begun doing this that was close almost sent that one running i'm kind of tempted as well if we can to try to get this female one i think we got a good shot so i just want to see when we claim it what the fur type is because it doesn't make sense to me that they would both be gray brown and I feel like I have read somewhere and there's a couple of weird things with rares and stuff that maybe the brown fur type or dark brown or something is a rare for them now. A lot of stuff kind of got changed, but that female says gray brown. This female also says gray brown, but you can very clearly tell that is not the same fur type. So I wonder if brown actually is a rare in the sense that like, unless there is a third common but I don't get why this one would be called Grey Brown. So at the very least, I do feel as if the kind of assessment that I have made that the female bears are always that lighter brown color and the males are what I would call Grey Brown, that kind of helps with identification. I always kind of thought it should be that way. When the map originally came out, that kind of Grey Brown color just, I don't know, that looks more like a male bear to me. So that'll be good not needing to spot every bear and just being able to go off of what we see spotting in the distance will help. Not that I don't already feel pretty confident this is the case, but we should be able to see just from this. That'll be a female grizzly and that'll be a male. So female level two and male level seven actually our best one thus far. Just a little kind of test to make sure that is the way things work. It's going to be tough as well not to just spot every grizzly we see, but in some circumstances, it might be maybe worth it. Say they're already running and you need to try to get on target and find the male as quickly as possible. Not having to go through and spot and just seeing that more brown color for the females will be potentially useful. Definitely no complaints though, getting a level seven is always nice, even if it is a rather small level seven. 62.5 makes him not much bigger than the gold level sixes we've had. But I want to check a couple last spots that we've not been to. This lake up in here, it just depends. If we've shot enough grizzlies and, and not visited for a while, a lot of times we end up with a bunch of them up there kind of clustered. So we got to go and check and make sure we're not missing anything. And I guess the good news is, it appears as if we're not missing a single thing up here. No grizzlies at all. At least we don't have to worry about it as much then. Well, that's always a plus a guaranteed gold at level six grizzly this time if i'm not mistaken that should be gold like number four this time we were grinding for grizzly trying to get a diamond which i don't even remember how we ended up getting one we never used to kill a lot of golds each run so this has been pretty good another decent one over on the other side as well which that's kind of where this particular area can get tough. It's just this long kind of narrow finger of the lake here that there's no real crossings. So probably what we'll have to do is just continue our run down and then fast travel back to our tent and go and claim it at the end. In the meantime, not sure where the tracks are for our guaranteed gold. But just accidentally running in the right direction and finding it will work. So like I said, I think gold number four, 61.8 for that guy. He's barely any smaller than the level seven. And with what is probably going to be our last grizzly bear we shoot today, Lee's, we're going back to a level four. So gotta balance it out some of the good luck we've had with the bigger ones with the actually two smaller ones. I didn't realize there were more back in there. I guess we'll hit that one too. And since we're going to end up going back that way, there is potential to run into others. I was planning on just not going back to that spot, because this is a place that we got to on stream, but might as well get it now if we're going there. And maybe then there'll be a chance to end with something better than a 4 or 5, although we do have to go back and claim that 6 yet as well. Or, I guess, one other level 2 back in here, and that is apparently going to be it, so... We'll try to go and recover our level five, and then we'll go back and get the six and get wrapped up. So maybe that will have worked out then. Going back to pick up our six, if it is a gold, it's at least better to get that last than the other ones that were guaranteed silvers. 
And finally, we get back to this level 6, which is in fact a gold by 0.1. I think our fifth gold then. Not a bad deal. And on pretty much any other day, I would have liked to have done a couple more runs. Just kind of extend this actual hunt out to maybe two, two and a half hours. And just kind of see what we get for respawns as we continue through. But as mentioned at the beginning, this is a bit of a different circumstance so we are going to have to leave it at that no albinos no diamonds but quite a lot of bears and a couple of decent ones as well hopefully sometime in the near future that will pay off with the response from them but anyway that is going to do it for this video so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time